Hey everyone, it's Serendi. I just wanted to give a quick warning to those who are thinking about using the Beneath the Streets tour in Seattle. And if you're not familiar with that certain attraction, there are some underground areas of Seattle that were the remnants of when the city like, was built on sea level. There's a lot of interesting history that you could learn about with the underground tunnels, quote unquote underground. And the tour organizations of Bill Spidell's underground tour and Beneath the Streets actually let you go into those areas and they teach you about history that most people aren't familiar with. It's a cool little thing for mostly tourists, but if you're a local to the state like myself, it's a good visit as well to brush up on history and learn something along the way. My dad and I were meaning to use the Bill Spidell organization, but we ended up using Beneath the Streets, uh, their tour group, because they were the only ones that were answering. When we got there, it was pretty small and they wanted us to browse the gift shop pretty much immediately because we wouldn't be at the same place when we came out. Oh, you should buy things. And we didn't buy anything, but when the tour guide finally came out, he tried to make things interesting, but his jokes never really hit the mark and some of the way he delivered information didn't really stick. The tour wasn't at all what we were expecting in the way that Bill Spidell's was advertising on their site or showing that they would, you know, go through in the tour. Or like the Beneath the Streets website, they didn't even deliver on those promises at all either. At one point, one of our fellow tour participants went ahead and asked, so are we really underground? To which our tour guide said, well, not really, since these are the old sidewalks and streets of sea level Seattle back in the 18,000s before the Great Seattle Fire, so we're beneath the streets and not underground. I think he had to say that specifically like five times, and I think it felt safe to say that we all were just feeling gypped inside for what we were touring and even then most of the tour was above the streets because we had to walk outside and upstairs to get to one whole other basement the one whole other basement that the agency had to show for which was disappointing because there wasn't a lot of artifacts save for this one sewing machine to show a part of the city's the city's history of people at the end, there was a little tip jar that basically was begging for tips, something that just seemed a little tacky. Even if there had been more humor in with our tour guide and not as much pushes to throw in extra money, it wouldn't have felt as scummy to beg for it at the end. Overall, not really a good experience because there was seemingly less than the original tour that we had wanted to see. So tomorrow, my dad and I are going to see the Bill Spadell version of it. Hopefully we can get our hands on a tour slot and hopefully that'll be a better experience than this. Also, also, they didn't tell us about some toxic mold that was down there at the very end, so that was pretty concerning. If you're going on the underground tour, like in general for any organization and you have really bad allergies to mold or like pollen or just dust in general, please take some allergy medication. It was extremely dank and dusty down there and I learned that the hard way because I suffer with those allergies. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe because I would not want people to waste their $25 on it. Maybe the adult version would have been better, but like we couldn't get into the adult version because this was all they had for the setup. So with that being said, if we get our hands on Bill Spidell's version, I will let you guys know and we'll see how that goes. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this useful. Bye!